Hi everyone, hopefully everyone can see this okay. Um, apologies for the shaky camera work, I'm having to hold my phone as I show you this. So, very quick tutorial on how I set in sleeves um, on knitted cardigans. He's loving it, obviously. <laughs> um, I've already done one side, so just sort of show you how I do the other side. I find, even now, I still have to use stitch markers if you don't um, and you can do it without them that's great but for me it's just something I've never been able to do so basically this is the front section um, obviously the back there's the other front and the sleeve as I say I've already done that um, side which isn't too bad I try and match the stripes so so yeah so this is the sleeve so what I start with first you should be already seeing is that I fold the sleeve in half like so and try and get the middle stitch try and do this as even as you can so that's pretty even half and half so I'll then grab a stitch marker and just place it in the middle like so obviously I'm not closing that or anything as of yet I'll then flip this out like so centimeter and this is the shoulder seam so what I will do is match up this um, shoulder seam with the middle of the sleeve now I know obviously from doing my other one I'm going blue to blue because you want to match your sleeves there's nothing worse than having a sleeve further down or if it just doesn't sit right you will never want to wear that garment trust me I've been there so now what I will do is get another I can just pop this down. Let me just pull it. Literally balancing this on a little table. So I'll get some more stitch markers. As I say, I know this is blue to blue, so I'm gonna get this end like so. Cotton yarn is an absolute nightmare, especially when you're sitting far away from it like I am. And I'll also do one on this side. So, as I say, this is blue to blue, just like in my other one, and I'll wrap that round. I'll then pop my middle one in. Again, it, it might move and so forth, but as long as it stays pretty centred, you're okay. I tend to always get a lock in one for the middle one, just so I know it's not going anywhere. And this is obviously here. Now, because I have done this pattern in stripes, it is much easier, obviously, um, to join together. I'm going to do that a little bit further down. If it lets me. There. Um, just because, obviously, I can match it up a lot easier. If your pattern isn't striped, you can just get a tape measure and obviously make sure both sides are even. So, now I've done this. I've got my other stitch markers here. What I will do is literally hold the centre, hopefully I can get this on camera, and flip as if I'm about to wear the piece. So let's straighten everything out. You can see all my ends everywhere. So again, it's a little bit more simpler this pattern just because it's striped. So what I will do here is get around about midway, midway, add another stitch marker in, like so. Hopefully you can see that. Again, it's all about really trying to use um, a bigger surface that, that you can, just to make sure you're all even. The back, again, Let's just throw in on there, just so it's pretty even. So as I say, because I've got stripes, I will then be able to quite easily match the back and the front. I've still got my two stitch markers here. Um, let me move you a bit closer. As you can see, you could just pop one in now that you've turned it if you want to. That's absolutely fine. Again, what I will then do is just add... Obviously it's easy with the stripes, but I'll add a couple more markers in, 
just so no. She's trying to do it with one hand. Absolute nightmare. Let me just put you down. Like so. I'll quickly do this and you'll be able to see what it kind of looks like. Apologies. So blue to green. Like that. So let me just pick it back up. So as you can see, I moved the front ever so slightly over. Well, the stripes are matching. And then my underarm. I don't tend to um, pin the side just because, again, because of the stripes, I find it easier. If I hadn't made this garment in stripes, I definitely would pin all the way down just every so often just so it's even and sits nice. So now what I will do is I've got my, any colour obviously that you've got on the cardi. I'll pop my needle in. So yeah, needle goes in. I would then start from the bottom and then I'm going to do obviously all here and then just do this little bit here. And then when you're obviously doing this part, make sure you're lifting up. There's been many a time that I've started to sew a garment together and realized I've caught the back and had to undo it. So just gently lift as you go up to the top, do the top. I would then flip it over, do the back part of the sleeve. So then your finishing will be again, just in this corner part here. So if I show you, this is what I've done. Again, I've not weaved in the ends. Um, I don't know if you know how to pick up, but I tend to pick up and do it this way. So I would pick up a couple of bars like that and exactly the same on the other side. And then as you bring that together, it is quite a flat seam. Obviously you're always going to see the seam, but it's not too bad. I mean, I've gone a little bit off track, but it's okay. So yeah, I basically did this. I went round the front and then flipped over and did the back. And then I went down the sleeve and finished off. So that is exactly what I'll be doing on this side. So I'll go up, around the back, and down the sleeve and finish off. So hope this helps. Um, <laughs> it's ridiculous. If there's any other kind of knitting videos you'd like to see, then I'll try my best. I'm not an expert, um, but I can knit and purl and so forth. So. I've still got to finish off my edges, obviously, here. It's a bit all over the show. It still needs to be blocked. Um, and also add the buttons on. But I'm nearly there. Let me see from that way. <laughs> so, yeah. Any questions, please leave them in the comments. And from me and him, I hope this is helpful for someone.